Hey friend, Chris Vandeviver here from whylogicprorules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. Today's video is a three-parter, and actually it's gonna be part of an ongoing series of troubleshooting in Logic Pro 10. I often get emails, I often get questions, and I find that the same types of questions crop up again and again. I sometimes will also have readers who will send me their projects because, you know, we're troubleshooting or doing some custom mix review or something to that effect. I often have to use the same email scripts over and over to help them. Instead of doing all that, make a video real quick, and then I can always refer everyone back to those same videos. So today there will be three videos in this ongoing series. And this first video, we're going to take a look at how to get logic to stop automatically quantizing your audio regions, your MIDI files, et cetera. And this is often related to smart tempo. Smart tempo, I've created videos, I've gone over this, but smart tempo tends to mystify a lot of users. There's a lot of nuance in all of that. So today we're just gonna look at how to get smart tempo to stop automatically quantizing your audio regions. So first things first, we have an empty logic project here, right? So if you go right to the top here, you can see the LCD display. We can see the tempo and we also see the option keep tempo, which is part of smart tempo. If you don't see this in your version of logic, just right click or control click anywhere in the empty space of the control bar at the top, go to customize control bar and display. And under LCD here, you might have something like Beats and Project. I typically use Custom, and then I can see the tempo, just like that. Okay, so if we left click on this Keep Tempo function, or maybe yours says Adapt or Auto, we're gonna go to Smart Tempo Project Settings. Okay, under here we have an option called Defaults for Flex and Follow Region Setting. What this means is, is what should Logic do when you import audio, when you record new audio into your Logic projects. Now by default, in my Logic template, I have these set to off, but maybe yours is set to on, or even on and align bars, or align bars and beats. Let's just stick with on for now. So set new recordings to on, set imported audio files to on. Okay, so now I have a set of audio files that were pulled from like a mix contest a few months ago. I'm just gonna drag them in. Create new tracks. Now, doesn't look like much is going on here, right? Look like regular audio files. But let's just open flex time by clicking on this button right here. We can see that some flex edits have been made and we know this because we see this in a bright white color. Whereas if flex time had never been turned on and quantize these audio regions, if we just click this button here, you can see that something has been changed, okay. So let's just quickly take a listen to where we're at with 120 BPM. And if I set this to 250 BPM, which is actually pretty awesome that we're able to quickly adjust the timing of regions that we didn't record, we didn't enable flex for, but logic just does it for us. But in many cases, this is not a desirable effect. Okay, no problem. So in this particular case, I would select all my regions, go over here to the region inspector and set this to off. And just like that, everything is exactly how it should be. We just have to bring the end of the project way down here because now these tracks are at their like 80 BPM actual tempo. Okay, so how do you make sure that Logic doesn't automatically enable this flex and follow feature? Well, once again, we can go here and open the smart tempo settings and set new recording to and set imported audio files to off. But unfortunately, when it comes to project settings, these are not saved globally across all of your projects. For example, under recording, I often like to auto colorize take. So if we use a take folder and we record three, four, 10 takes. I like each take in the take folder to be a different color so I can easily, you know, tell the difference between the different takes. In this particular case, let's just get rid of this. Go to the finder, let's just get rid of these guys. So edit, delete. Okay, so then I would go to file, save as template. Okay, we'll just call this a uh, new default. We'll save. And then under Logic Pro 10 preferences, general under project handling, we can determine what the startup action should be. 
we can create a new project using the default template. What is the default template? In this case, it's just an empty project. But if we click on this, we can go into these different templates, go to my templates, new default, choose this. And now forevermore, we won't have to adjust that project setting related to smart tempo, or just as a side note, the auto colorized takes. So if you ever find that logic and smart tempo is auto quantizing your audio regions, your MIDI regions, whatever, this is the way to manage that. I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, as always, I highly suggest subscribing to the YouTube channel, Why Logic Pro Rules, or subscribing on the website itself, whylogicprorules.com. Every week I'm posting new videos, new emails, new posts to help you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. Thanks so much.